Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a closer look at the Downloads folder. One of the primary folders in your user account is your Downloads folder. It is used by Safari and just about every other browser and also Apple Mail to store files that you've downloaded from the internet or attachments you've saved from emails. So if I look at my user folder, I see that I've got all the default folders here, including the downloads folder. And I look in there, I can see all the different files that I've recently downloaded from Safari and Mail. Now in Safari, you also have a special window. You go to Window, Downloads. This brings up the Downloads window here, which shows you things that you've downloaded from Safari, and you can find out various pieces of information about them. This is not the same as the Downloads folder because these can represent things downloaded to different locations and they don't represent things downloaded with different browsers and with mail. But it is worth taking a look at. For instance, you can look through your history here and select an item. You can use the magnifying glass to show it in the finder, which will bring it up in the downloads folder. You can also right click or control click on an item to open it. You can copy the original URL where the item was downloaded, or you can remove an individual item from the list. To clear the entire list, you can click the clear button there. Now if you have an, a download that's been interrupted, like this first one has, you get this orange reload button here. Just click that and it will start re-downloading this item from its original location without you having to go to the web page. Now also in Safari you have some controls over the downloads. If you go to preferences, and go to General, you can see where files are set to download to. So you can set them to another folder rather than the Downloads folder. You can set how often items are removed from the list. This won't remove them from the Downloads folder, it'll just remove them from the Safari list. Now other browsers usually have an option to allow you to choose a download location each time you're downloading something. You notice Safari didn't have that there in the preferences, but you can still do it in Safari. So for instance, here's the uh, PDF that we've got for Snow Leopard keyboard shortcuts. If I click on it there, it will actually download this and show it right in the browser. But I can control click or right click on a download link and then from there I can say save the link file to downloads or save it to another location as well. Now in Apple Mail you also have some options as well. If you go to Mail Preferences under General Settings, you can select the Downloads folder, set it for the default or set it to somewhere else. And then you can also select to have unedited downloads removed when the message is deleted. So in other words, if you're just viewing something that can't be viewed inside of mail, then that will automatically be removed when you either mail quits or after you delete that message from mail. Now the downloads folder is also commonly found as a stack. You go into the dock and you look here on the right, usually you'll have a download stack there by default. Click on that and it'll expand to show you the items in the download folder and you can click on them there to open them or you can drag them from there. You have several different options here. If you control click here you can select whether you want to open as a fan, a grid, a list, or automatically choose depending on how many items are in there. So for instance if we choose lists instead, we get a useful list like this. They'll actually scroll with you um, and then you can see the items without actually even going to the downloads folder. A common question I get is that somebody's accidentally deleted their downloads folder and usually this means they haven't deleted it from here in their user folder. They've just removed it from the dock by accident. So if you actually do that, like I just did there, you can go back to your downloads folder and drag it back in to the right side of the dock now one of the interesting things about items in the downloads folder, if you select them and choose File, Get Info, or Command I, you'll see a long list of information as usual, but you'll also see a Where From. Now notice I've got one item here that's an application. I didn't download an application, I downloaded an archive and it automatically decompressed. The reason it did that is because if we go back to Safari, I had this checked off here, open safe files after downloading, which includes disk images and other archives. If I turn that off, then everything would download and stay in its original format in the downloads folder. Now there are several different approaches to the care and cleaning of your downloads folder. Some people prefer to keep it completely empty, using every file as soon as they download it and leaving nothing in there. Other people prefer to keep just about everything in the downloads folder, moving copies of it other places, running installers, basically keeping a complete archive of everything they've ever downloaded. 
There's middle ground, of course. I prefer to take installers for software that I've purchased and put them in an installers folder somewhere on an archive disk or somewhere in my documents folder. And this way I have all the installers for things that I've actually purchased. Other things I've downloaded like temporary images or videos, I'll just delete after a while. And if I'm copying something into the iTunes folder or into iPhoto, I make sure I delete the old copy that's left in the downloads folder. So I hope you like this look at the downloads folder on Mac OS X. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Most Now.